Okay, pretty fun one today. It's a rainy day here in Northern California, and we are gonna take this stone, this serpentine, I'm just gonna call it a type of serpentine. I found it in Dry Creek in Middletown, and we're gonna slice it and see what it looks like on the inside. So let's head out to the shop, which is nice and dry and cozy, and uh, we'll turn on the saw and make it cold and wet. This is what it looks like outside today. See my little, my little creek down below is raging and muddy and has come up and down a few times. That's what all the waterways look like, so they're getting re-churned here. Yeah, it's almost up to the base of my hill. And all the leaves are off the trees. And the rock shop is a slash wood cutting station. Because you gotta do what you gotta do in winter. But let us get this machine turned on. Ah, lights. Camera, action, pieces of bonite, wonderscape stone, rainbow obsidian, but we are going to cut this, which I have suspicions that it's actually nephrite because of its weight, its hardness, the shape of it. Let's cut this and look at it, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll see. Okay, I think we're gonna take a couple of these flat sides and drop them on here on the Viver gem faceting machine and use it like a little flat lap and polish those up. I got 600 grit on there and it'll make it go super duper quick. Get the light on there and then get our drip going. Hi drip. Wow, it says I get this big piece polished up here. Look at it. Glow there. You see that? Ooh, yeah. That's some nice green. That's what we like to see. So, yeah. I'm going to take this over to the buffer now. ancient buffer wheel. I'm going to apply some of the green compound and we're going to put a buff to it. And here are the results. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this because I'm really sure now that it is nephrite. So this is Middletown Dry Creek you can call it Cobb Mountain Nephrite, or uh, it's actually the Pewter Creek Watershed. But yeah, I'd be comfortable with Cobb Mountain, Cobb Mountain Jade. So slightly different than the stuff that you would find down by Big Sur, but samples from there are actually what allowed me to recognize it because our stuff is more like that stuff than um, like a Canadian jade, which is uh, the Canadian nephrite is on a level of its own. Um, there's nephrites all over the world, the type of serpentine mix that we call nephrite and um, and so different shades of it and everything. But the felting in this and the translucency 
and everything just has me convinced. It has all the right everything's going on. You can see the outside. Uh, it's got a little oil applied to it now, and you can almost detect more translucence than you would have been when we picked it up. And you can see the rusting, which is another characteristic of uh, of nephrite, and what uh, helps to hide it overall. And then we look at the inside, and boom, there she is. Um, and you can see what are probably the different trim lights and actinolite, the different fine fibrous types of serpentine all felted together there. It's creating a, uh, a felted look. And yeah, if you let your eyes look at the outside of that and then you turn to the hidden inside, you're like, oh, for sure. And then the translucency. Look at that actual. It's uh, so much more translucent, this particular specimen, than any of the bonites. Or the uh, the leafy antigorite group of serpentine that I also find. You can see that this has a detectable green to it, but when it's dirty and rough and dry and unoiled and you can't look at the inside in a riverbed full of serpentines, it's hard to tell. Very excited about that though. That is a uh, different patterns of it. see the felting the woven smashed out pattern of the whole thing okay let's look at this next slice the loaf of bread here the reveal on that is so awesome each time boom yeah I did I put a little bit of mineral oil on these because I like the way that it brings out the color, gives it more of a wet look, but look at the translucence of this piece of rock. Mind you, that that's not a strong jade light like I've used before to illuminate different bonites, that's just a lamp light shining from above and me tilting the rock and take note the thickness of that slab. Let's go ahead and kick our overlight here a little bit more. Penetration from the light itself, and look at that. Boom. So just insane, right? So I am fully happy with that. Um, Everything about it, the lens shape, the felting of it, the uh, hardness and weight and classification of that. The overall, it's visibly green. Um, if you know the bonites and stuff, different other creatures that we work with. They are not the same. This one is definitely... Uh, Definitely just visibly green all by itself right when you cut it the only reason The only reason it was ever able to hide in the creek bed was because of its rusty dirty dry outside appearance, but boom and then uh, The butt slice Just for all around detail inspection. Let's uh let's get closer up into this now. Keep in mind this is the butt slice, big old thick piece of stuff and the light still coming through like that. Yep, yep, yep.
Yeah, so I am totally, totally stoked. This is going in my personal collection. It's a piece found very close to home. And um, I was told that there was jade in that creek by locals, actual nephrite, which is not surprising. Um, this is actually from one of the videos from the second video of this season. And we picked it up on that rainy day splash around in Dry Creek outside of Middletown, which is uh, in one of California's serpentine belts and located directly at the base of a huge hydrothermal volcanic field with uh, power plants running off of the steam in the mountain and the whole deal. So, this little piece of serpentine got affected just right. Neferite on the Crestor details. So, I am totally stoked. That's what that kind of ugly little creature turned out to be. The reveal on that's the funnest thing that does it for my eyes every time. That's the fun of collecting and cutting is, is look at that. Ugh. The green. Classic Neferite shot. That ugly crust and then Boom. Okay, so thanks for checking that one out with me. We're going to get out in the field here again soon, do a, a nice uh, mix of this this season. Like I said, this was found on that second uh, episode of the season. And um, so we've cut open one of the rocks, and this is the one that I was most interested in out of that hunt. And you can see why. And yeah, we found our green gold. So that's why checking the details can pay off sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up and get it edited and get it out to you. And I hope that you enjoy. And um, I hope that it adds to the thrill next time we're out looking for ugly green rocks and riverbeds around here. I hope for sure that you'll join me at the next location on the next quest for details, the next little adventure that we go on. Until then, please take care of yourselves, get some good sleep, take a deep breath, forgive yourself for something, try and find a way to love yourself. If you get the chance, take care of something else, someone else, anything else. There's a lot of things that need it out there. And I'll see you in just a day or two. Quest on.